Hey you guys, we are back to do another review of the Never Ever Whatever. All right, let's get into this Ratchet Show Love and Hip Hop Edition. Stay tuned for more. We keep it real. What's going on, Coed Ken folks, man? What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video, Coordinator. I'm pissed off because my cable TV ain't working right, man. I didn't say you cable TV and the crap don't work right, man. It irritates the crap out of me, man. And anywho, what don't irritate girl? Welcome back to another video, Coordinator. I'm Ed, aka, aka Pissed Off E Dub. It's my lovely wife right here. Love and light, Courtney, also known as Coco. This right here is Courtney and Ed. This channel is all about relationship reviews, entertainment. It's all about famous rants and jokes. It's and all about man. jacked up cable TV, man. Hey, man. man, I just want to watch this rain outside today. I can't go downstairs in my main cave because they did they cleaned the carpet, so I can't go down there for 24 hours. So I'm trying to operate the TV upstairs. Now the cave ain't back right in that room, man. And it's like I tried to plug the new parts in and swap the parts. Still don't act right, man. God, it's irritating, man. Dang. <sighs> So, if you're brand new to this channel, please I've don't been go to better that. off with the little. Y'all remember the brown boxes back in the day with the 32 channels on it? Those things, was, they were reliable, they were hardcore, they were durable. But this little finicky stuff we got for cable TV now, internet, you know, come on, stuff so finicky, man. So fickle, man. God, to my head. Oh, I'm done. So, if you're brand new to this channel, please don't go nowhere. I know this ain't like the Angry Man Corner, but please, please stay over here. Stay over here. We like to have fun. We try. Sometimes people don't always make it easy for us, including him. So, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure that you share this video. Comment down below. Make sure that you hit the like and all the stuff to do to push this in the algorithm, y'all. But it probably just pushed. But we, I could tell the ratings, honey, on this whole show is low. Low, how low can we go? Last week, I think it was 93,000 9, people watching. 93. That, I ain't never seen no ratings, not for we watch, that low. So I guess some of y'all be like, mm-mm, honey, too ratchet. Let me get off yeah, there. you guys, like I said, too ratchet. And also, holiday weekend, vacation, people, some people want to travel and live their best life. They're not sitting at home. I mean, watching a week TV, last. okay. I mean, week before or, 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 they still ain't sitting at home watching TV. It's warm outside, and people out there living their best life. All I want to do is watch cable TV because it's raining this weekend. That's all. You want to be one watch cable TV if it's dry, raining, snowing. It don't matter. You just want to plop downstairs and watch TV. That's what you like to do. You be talking about I like reality TV. You just want to watch sports and Netflix and all that stuff. So yeah. That's, that's that's you. But anyway, it ain't about us. Keep that in mind. It ain't about us. All right, so let's just go ahead and get into it. Make sure that you go on over there and and, and, and purchase your Juneteenth t-shirts. I wore another one for y'all because some of y'all them bam, 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 honey. I appreciate the sales, y'all. So shout out to y'all that have purchased your Juneteenth t-shirt. Make sure you go ahead and get it now because we June 1st. And we got 18 more days to with the 19th. And don't forget my birthday next week. Cash out, Venmo, credit cards, mm -mm, credit money cards. orders, mm -mm. Uh, uh, what's the other money orders, checks, wire transfers. Mm -mm. I set them all, mm -mm, baby. Child, we ain't got time for that because we ain't finna do the uh, Ernesto. Nothing yeah. over here. Just the cash app if you want to cash uh, out. I could be, be a prince from Africa. That's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and get into it. So it started out with um, Greg, you know, it was a cliffhanger on we trying to find out what his trauma was, but he said that he was um, 
Yeah, because I don't know. YouTube funny about certain words, so y'all could do the word, you know what I'm saying? He was touched. Yeah, when he was a little boy. He didn't even say when he was. When he was. He just I'm said, assuming he was a little yeah, boy. Yeah, I know, because you hunted a grown man, Chad. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so he said he was touched. And he, he and to be honest, in our minds, in my mind, I always think it's the same sex, but sometimes these women be able to touch these little boys too now. Yeah, you heard about Mary J. Blige? Is that he, true? I don't know, but he wasn't no little boy. He's 15. Oh, well. 15. Mm -hmm. So 15. I don't know. But yeah, so sometimes the opposite sex do be touching these yeah, children man. as well. Yeah, so, um, and that, I Ooh. thought that, you know, because if we seen Millie, she was like, uh, oh, it's about you. Uh, uh, why you can't make it back? Basically. But it seemed like, you know, I don't know if it was editing from last time, but she did she seem like she was, him. yeah. She consoled him and everything. She said she appreciated him opening it up to him or to her and the counselor. You know, you know the, the counselor did. Say yeah, that. yeah. But, you know, he got off his chest and you could tell it was affecting him because he was about to cry. Yeah. And, you know, when, when, when a person, you know, goes through, through something like that traumatic at that that uh, at that up uh, at that age when they were younger, of course it's gonna stick with you. And you know, and he never told nobody before. And he decided to tell everybody on national television. We had to say that for it. I'm just saying, am I lying? No, but you just am I lying? Just the way you said it. But you know, it's harder for men to um come out with that because I know somebody told me that a long time ago. That you know him being a man that he was you know m as well and it's not easy for a man to express it we understand it happened to women uh a whole lot more than it should a whole lot more than it, it shouldn't at all but it does happen to you know um girls and females but you know guys it's really hard for them to express that and to tell it so you know um big ups to greg for you know like you said sharing that yeah sharing that man up man good for him i'm happy for, i'm happy for millie to kind of see it's not all about her all the time so she did so Greg, and you know, good for them. And Greg was like, you know, maybe he needed a, a need a good cry because you know he hadn't cried, you know. And yeah. I'm telling you, a good cry helps. I be trying to get this one to cry, but I'm telling you, a good cry, a I, good. it get all of that bagged yeah. up, everything. It's a cleanser. Yeah, a good ugly cry. I'm talking about snot bubbles coming up, coming out of your nose, popping and stuff, and you know, that snot bubble pop and go all your face. Yeah. You don't care. Are you having that good nasty? Low down cry, and you be all good and clean afterwards. What are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. No, I can't wait. I'm gonna film it. You never see it. You never see it. From I drive. I drive out of town. <laughs> just, just cry. Come on back. <laughs> so Millie said that um she's planning. I think she was saying Greg a surprise birthday party. It's gonna be a '90s edition and everything. So she letting the guys know, and so the guys were like, pretty much, we good. You know, you need to tell the women not Millie. to tell nobody. Millie, 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 the camera fire. Vanilla. The best decade is the 80s. I know y'all try to stick with the 90s. Y'all try to push the 90s out there. But it was the 80s, baby. The 80s was the best decade, man. Remember his only jacket, the Jerry Curl, the Thriller album, the Penelope shoes, Jordash. Y'all know uh, uh, Kevin Kleins and, you know, Ashley Watch Jeans, Guess Jeans. Y'all know. The 80s set the standards for decades. So, um, Tyrande said, okay, listen, because you know she be coming and going, honey. Oh, she worked this time. Oh, she did. She, she put in some overtime. <laughs> <laughs> so, she said, listen, couples, we're going to play a game. So, they had to know basically how well they knew each other. So, it started out with the ladies. The guys had to see how well they knew the ladies. And so, um, it was kind of like a newlywed game or whatever. When was the first day you connected? Now, I guess that was a like a loaded question or I don't know. But, you know, let's see. Some of them was like to the day and some of them did the year, the month or whatever. You know, they've been together three months ago, two years ago, all that stuff, whatever. You know, it wasn't very broad for some of them. But, like, I think it was Shay and um, Josh, they said Wednesday. I asked my beloved husband, when was the day that we first saw each other? Well, I said Wednesday. She said uh, Saturday. <laughs> 
I, I didn't say Saturday. Yeah. I said, I said, no, that was our first date. Yeah, but when we actually laid eyes on each other from the internet, like they did from the internet, but we was in our own city, child, so we met each other. Um, was that Saturday? Right? Yeah, it was on the Saturday. You sure? I, see, you, I still think wins because Saturday, you know, you got your t shirt. I'll use it. <laughs> so I didn't have time to connect. <laughs> <laughs> I said, is that how they sell t shirts in front of the stadium? I've always been a hustler oh, for a long t shirt. I, I was helping somebody. T shirt with the hood t shirt. <laughs> t shirt. I got this with the hood. I said, with the hood. I did not. I, I did not. I was, like, Ooh. I was helping somebody. Yeah. Their own t shirt business. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, and you know, that's true. <laughs> so, uh, the qu- another question was, what's her favorite hobby? You know, and so somebody said church. <laughs> and I think Shay said, how is church a hobby? So mm, for some I'm people, sure it is. is child, mm. They go and do what they got to do and come on down and they feel hobbified. So, um, what's, what's my favorite hobby? Uh, Doing what you're doing now, watching reality TV. Yeah, that's, that's all she do. Um, so that ain't all I do, Chad. Um, let's see. When it comes to money, is she a spender or a saver? You know, and that was the question. Did I don't know if some of them answered it right. It seemed like Millie and Greg, Chad, they do not know each other except for they, they got trauma. That's what they know. Yep, they don't know each other, but they have trauma bond keeping them together. Um, as far as me, I'm like a. It's not about you. It's not about you. It is. You're not on the show. It is. You're not on the show. It's about the show. I'm an in between. I'm not really like a spender, and then I'm not really a saver. I'm a little bit in between. So, um, let's see. The biggest obstacle that they had to overcome. Shay and Josh said, "Yeah, child, when he had got that two that that the that woman pregnant, that he said, mm, this is my roommate. I'm poker." Um and got her pregnant. And Shay, the way she explained the story, she was like, after he told her that, then they, you know, went they step away for two years. I was like, you should have never connected with him because if he could not be faithful that way and just poke his roommate. So I'm telling y'all, man, men and women cannot be cordial friends. Keep trying to tell y'all that, man. Yeah, yeah, he can. I got a friend. He, I've been knowing this friend, my friend, for 30 years. We never even thought about that. Trust me. If that opportunity arrives, he ain't going to pass on it. Trust me. He's a man. That's what we do. We conquer. We destroy. We dominate. That's what we do. What's a, that's, what, that's what being a man is all about. Dominating and uh, conquering. All right. That in mind. Next time you have your little so-called guy friend hanging around, ooh, ooh, he cheated on me. Let me go talk to my guy friend. Hey, homie, hey, my, my boyfriend cheated on me. I need a shoulder to cry on. Come on, cry on this shoulder right here. Ooh, let's have some drinks. Now I'll get a little drinking going on. Ooh, I feel frisky. I feel frisky too, baby. Then all of a sudden, bam, I'm pregnant. Who the baby? Your boy, your homeboy. Now y'all got a baby, 18 years, 18 years. Y'all got each other for 18 years. So now that y'all done got that uh, after school special, then let's move on. <laughs> so let's see. Um, as far as the shade, I mean, no, pastor and first lady, they said, you know, when he proposed to somebody, I think um, Toronto was like, what happy time? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk no, about it. No, Pastor Harold, uh, what, Aaron Hall. Yeah, you talk about everybody else's business. No, 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 put no. it out there, man. You got to confess. It's a testimony, baby. Testify. Mm. Ah, well, she she ain't giving the attention I want, so I went somewhere else and I proposed to another woman. I even bought the ring for her. Mm. So um, the next one was when is her birthday? Now, uh, what? When is her birthday? Birth. I thought birth. Not birth. It's T H, not L. If you don't stop it, child, because I just go over this whole video and birthday. watch every word when, when and you dissect birth? it. You birth? Yeah, I want some birth, but I will birth. Birthday. So anyway, they asked the question, when was her birthday? And so... <laughs> she just said it. Yeah, and he is. <laughs> so um, I guess most of them got it right, except for Millie. Except for Greg. He Greg didn't got the money. 
he got the money now let's let's show them some grace now i know that they've been communicating for three years but i was with this one for a long time too and he could not get my birthday right yeah because it's too close to halloween and i said man why who have a baby close to halloween that's evil evil you hear me you two days before halloween so yeah, I got your birthday wrong. I kept getting it wrong. I got the bot right, but I kept getting the days. Yeah, mixed he used up. to always get the days mixed up. So I was surprised when I asked him this question. He knew what it was. Oh yeah, Carlos, it's your, you know, I know it now. Yeah. So yeah, I I think that you know. So I have a simple birthday. All y'all gotta know is that me and the purple one, Prince, has the same birthday. Me and Gabrielle Union have. Who's the same that? I don't know who that is. And several other. I don't know who the people. Are. Me and Prince have he the dead. same birthday. Don't he's okay, still then, let's move on. He, he's not alive. Okay. He's no longer with yeah, well, So let the dead be the dead. Why are you acting all eccentric and stuff? No, you like Prince. I said, yeah, I mean, Prince got the same birthday. Well, so I want to see you with your booty out then. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, that was a big deal right there. So, you know, Greg messed that up, you know, because he said the first, I think it was the 21st or something like that. So they asked the question, what's that gift to pledge? Your pastor was a uh, second toe, child. She's Taronda said, ooh, that's nasty. Now, I, let me say this. Now, Taronda, she got to, um, except for the pastor and the first lady, she got to understand that these are a younger group of people. So some stuff, you know, like sexual position and all this stuff, she didn't know nothing about. She was like, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's Everybody that? Everybody that? know that? Uh, what, cow, what a cowgirl is when it comes to that. No, I think the 69. Stand and 69? And she and said, what's 69? Huh? Stand in 69. What's the difference? There's no difference. One, you land down, one, you stand up. That's, uh, what, that's what it is. Somebody, I thought she just didn't know what 6 9 was, period. No, she said, what's a standard uh, 6 9 But I was like, child, don't ask no question, honey. These young folks child be making up stuff, honey. So, yeah, it was a lot of stuff. She was like, ooh. Yeah. And so um, the question was, as far as what's the gift to play, why didn't Greg say women? I, I don't know. Maybe he thought Millie listened to women. I don't know. Maybe he said his guilty pleasure is women, like he just loves yeah. women. But you got a girl, so you can't say stuff like that. Yeah, if you ask him, Eddie, what's your guilty pleasure is? I said, find somebody in the street so I can race in Mexico. That's in Mexico. So they're going to think they come get me and lock me up. And in Mexico, that's why I do my street racing at. In Mexico. That's right. I like I like I like drag race. I like cars. That's not he would drag race an old lady that's just going to Walmart. And get she want that smoke. She can get that smoke. I don't care. If she got a handicap tag on her car. She can get that smoke too. Uh, so, but it seemed like Josh and Shay got the most. You know, uh, they know each other the most yes. until do they? Okay, do until. they? So Aaron is um taking Jody on the, and she done brushed her hair this whole episode. I said, Go girl, you must have heard us child brush your hair, huh? Did you purchase the brush? So anyway, Aaron is talking to Jody, you know, taking Jody on the photo shoot and stuff like that, because that's kind of like the things that they like to do. So, you know, I think he was getting he was knocking on the door, whatever, and <laughs> stuff like that. And she fussed the toilet. I don't blame, man. If, if I'm knocking on the bathroom door and the one fussed the toilet. I hear something like eh, before she flushed the toilet. <laughs> yeah, I don't walk away. He didn't hear no eh. I don't know. They could have cut that part out. I don't he was know. Like, Ooh, she flushed the uh, toilet. No, <laughs> man. Uh -uh. So, um, so it seemed like Jody. You know, they get there. She love it. That's they. That's her happy place. I ain't seen her smile this whole. I did. Whole I am. When she was talking to Chris. Oh, yeah. Except for him. Mine is that the, every other time. No, she do not smile. <laughs> so, Chris' friend, Chris' dumb, stupid, young and dumb friend come, right? And um, anyway, so, you know, of course, they dap it up and all this stuff, whatever. So, he was like, what's y'all at? He was like, you like y'all? I'm saying, you don't even know her name? Like, the disrespect. Like, this is some random chick. And it could be. It could be the Chris. It could be the him. But I'm just saying, at least say the girl name like somebody you just met. I just think dude won his 15 minutes of fame. Dude's on TV. So he had to act the way he act. Maybe he do act that way in real life. I but he don't. the point is, all he think about is smashing. Bruh, when you have that type of mindset, you have to be young. Because if you think about smashing, you know, smashing on the first date, 
All right, fine. But look at the consequences if you mess up. You have you catch something, you have a baby. So when you when you're older, you don't think that way no more because you got responsibility. You, you know used I mean? to think like him. Oh yeah, man. But not the first day. I said, if I can't smash within two weeks, man, I'm gonna start talking to you. And I always thought that two weeks that was my time frame. And you know, after two weeks, I'll go on to the next one. I'm gonna do like that mean. Well, always been honest with you, man. Two weeks, man. You know, I said, if I can't smash in two weeks, I don't need to talk to you because I ain't gonna be putting in that work. Okay, so what's the difference between him and you? I was young. I was in my early twenties. And I think Chris in the thirties, he's still thinking that way. So anyway, um he asked Chris, did he smash yet? He was like, No, man, you know, I'm really and truly trying to go out the mental and stuff, and I really and truly don't believe Chris <laughs> because he was like, Ooh, the sex tension, sex kim sex sex shit. I really don't think he's going out for the mental. The I, point I is, just don't think that he, you know, eventually you guys gonna get tired of trying to smash you one of man. When you get older, you know, the same old, same old, you trying to smash, trying to smash. Okay, what you trying to accomplish and smash as many women as, as as many women as you can? You know what I'm saying? You know you try out outdo one another. You know what I'm saying? Ask your younger self. That's my that's that's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. Well, ask your younger self. I ask my you know, I ask my younger self that all the time. What what was your mindset then? I mean, what you was trying to do? Right. And I what thought this younger self the younger said. self said, you know, well back then you was immature, and I was thinking the more women I smashed, the more of a man I felt. You know what I'm saying? Well, can you speak to the fifty some year olds that's still in that mindset of trying to smash? Well, you know, sometimes when you're fifty, you're still trying to smash different women, you don't feel accomplished, man. You know, you feel like, you know, you got the that's the only way you know, you know how some people live, you know, they live through things and, and they, they try to find something to fill the hole. Oh yeah. And that's sure. what they're trying to do. And when they, when you smash you, know, you try to smash all the time in your fifties, different women. You're trying to fill a hole in your spot. You you got something missing in your life. You're yep. trying to fill that with, you know, if you got a good woman, you don't need to do all that, right? And, you know, you smash her every night. You know what I'm saying? Every day. Four, five, six times in a day. In your 50s? Yeah, man. They got pills. <laughs> you? Shoot. Anyway, so uh, somebody need to tell Josh that because Joshua is out here trying to smash randoms. Because he had did the roommate, so he said. But anyway, uh, we get into that. So as Chris was talking, he was like, "No, the dumb friend was like, you know, you know, it's been long distance. That's the first thing you need to do. Y'all ain't seen each other. Y'all should be trying to, you know, smash and stuff like that." So anyway, Chris was like, mm, "She different." Blah blah blah. So Sandia friend come and you know they sit down and talk and. I don't know, Sandia. I don't know. I don't too much know about her. But anyway, so she was like, yeah, at first the ladies didn't like Chris and stuff like that, but he has changed. And now the ladies kind of, you know, talk to him and blah, blah. I was like, what that episode is? I don't, I don't understand it. Is it, you know? I guess after have to really cuss Chris out. Yeah, I feel, so. so I feel sorry for Chris. You know, and maybe his energy shifted and changed. But um, anyway, um. Let's see. So Jody and Aaron are at the, you know, studio. They doing their photography work and all this stuff. Do taking pictures of them, blah blah blah, whatever. So you know, she seems well. I wanted to say she seen happy, but some of the photos she was looking real mad and angry looking. So um, you know, Aaron sneak a kiss in, you know, pull. She came close and pulled a kiss. And kiss. I said, okay, okay. Right. You, you jumped. My time. You you jumped you jumped to conclusion too quick with that kiss. I was like, yeah, you, yeah. You, I was you, like, you oh, cheering and, and, then, and yeah, because she afterwards she did she did like silly from the cup of purple. <laughs> she started laughing, so I was like, okay, then girl, you must like it then. Aaron said, hey, got that kiss it was hey, some chemistry. You so mm, uh, you mm, so easily mm, to be mm, fooled, mm, man. Mm. I knew when she kissed on the other, she ain't feeling nothing. Why uh, you say she ain't feeling it? You can tell she was kissing the dude. He had to drag her in for the kiss. She been kind of well, you, well, you know that you know well, she got herself matter, in. It don't matter, man. It don't matter. Now, yo, Chris, you was kissing. Yeah. But um, you know, afterwards she said what? She she didn't feel nothing. I ain't kiss. feel not a dang on thing. Not nothing, man. She didn't feel no electricity, oh, yeah. and she didn't feel no shock, no jolt. Anything, no warmth, no cold. She didn't feel nothing. Try it again. She felt, she felt, she felt what I, what, what I smell like. 
I smell like nothing. That's right. <laughs> I smell like nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 I'm sick of that. My husband smells like nothing. I got to oh, get him some cologne. Uh, he, should, he smell like air. I mean, yeah. That's good, man. I smell no, like air. No. The, I do. It's pollution in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. So you said you said I smell polluted. I didn't say that. I okay, say but I smell like, like air, right? Air, air, but it, it's just, it can be clean air. So clean air. I didn't say clean air. I said air. Oh, now I'm feeling hurt. <laughs> I thought you meant air. <laughs> so um, let's see. So anyway, so yeah, she basically said she didn't feel nothing. You know, nothing like that. Wasn't nothing going. You know, and. She, you know, Aaron seemed like he on cloud nine, you know, in that moment. And he was like, you know, I think it was good, you know, photo shoots. She's like, yeah, yeah. He was like, she was like, um, he said that kiss was, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little did he know. So in the next scene, you got Sandia friend. Um, Sandia friend asked Chris, was he ready for love? And his dumb friend, because that's what I'm gonna call it. I don't need being a some chat. He was like, <laughs> start laughing. Bruh, can you please get out here with that ignorance? Like, we not at some kind of like Magic City, some kind of club or something like that. Dude, well, dude came on this show trying to get to know this girl, and he up there. <laughs> and so um Chris was like, Yeah, he you know, he ready for love. Dumb friend said, What, baby? Well, uh, he said something about, well, they need to have sex first because he's not going to stick around if the sex is bad. Oh, man, he's immature, man. You know, uh, sometimes a relationship is, you know, sex is important. Don't get me wrong. But a relationship is more than just sex. Okay. Is. Now, well, this woman, you know, they can be a power couple and they can just live life and be happy. You know, you can kind of work on the bad sex part. You know what I'm saying? You can work that out some kind of way. Some but, you know, you're going to throw a whole relationship away if you love somebody because the sex is not great. Some people will. You know oh, they will. Yeah. That, sex they they can be rich and, you know, have everything in life, but the sex is terrible and leave that person because yeah. of that. You know what I'm saying? Well, they'll cheat and have sex with somebody else well, and then, come back with them. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I get it. Sex is important, but for some people, it's not as important as having a mental connection because a lot of people sit up there having... Six, 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 you and they don't know sick. each other. Right, man, they it's... argue all the time. They don't mm. get along, and that's all they got is sex. So yeah, you want man. the whole package. You don't it, want just it's like, it's, you know, it's the difference between having sex and making love. Okay, you can have sex with anybody in the streets. You know what I'm saying? But if you make love with somebody, that means you're making that emotional, mental connection with that person on a spiritual level. It's a big difference. You can go out there, hump on anything to have yeah, sex. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so yeah, man. So that's that's the maturity level of some people, man. So as you get older, you have responsibility, you have life goals. Now you're looking at okay, who can I have a, this my 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 uh, forever forever person would be. You know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, they might not check off all the boxes on my list, but they check off about ninety percent of my you know my check boxes. I, mean, I can live with that. You know what I'm saying? Those stuff we can work on. I can, I checked off a hundred. No, no, not really. No, no, ninety. Yeah, you like eighty percent. Uh, yeah. I saw it. She said, uh, "With the hood t-shirt, with the hood t-shirt." <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> when they get back from the photo shoot, and Aaron is, um, you know, in the house, and he was like, "Ooh, the energy then shifted and then changed." You know what I'm saying? Now she went back to no brushing her hair and them lashes and stuff, and she was like, mm, "I'm hungry." So she's sitting down there eating the pizza, and the other guy was like, "How was how was it?" And Aaron was like, "It was good. You know, we did this, we did that, and stuff like that." And she, was, she didn't engage. She, she didn't know. engage at all. She threw that pizza that she touched back in that box. I was like, "I know. See, this is why I don't like." to come around people like that don't be touching the food and you don't throw it back in the box you should have never grabbed it yeah you used to go to buffets and restaurants now come on now. huh you used to go to buffets right i stopped though. okay but you went right and i was very skeptical yeah, okay but well, i well, i did go while i thought they were working I saw the little bad kids playing around the food. They do, especially uh, at the Golden Corral. Yeah, they be around there. Man. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I said, "What is your mama?" If you sneeze and call it. <laughs> Come on, y'all. So I just stopped going to buffets, man. I'm sorry. I need to stop going out to eat the restaurants, but I ain't dig it. Anyway, so um, so yeah, it was just way off, and you know, Aaron feels a little defeated. You know, man, he should be, man. I hate that. 
he's gone through this, man. You know, but but, leave it to his dad. Oh, I see it. Don't let nobody no, talk. I, I hate to say it, Aaron. You probably should let, listen to Pastor Aaron Hall on this one right here, man, because. You put too much energy into this relationship and it's not being reciprocated back to you. Oh, but there's more. Chris um said, listen, man, <laughs> I I like I see you as a friend and stuff like that. And I get it that, you know, I rock for Joe the basically what he was saying, but bro, I see you going above and beyond. And I see you putting everything into it. And I just don't see it coming back to you. I have to admit, Chris was being sincere when he said that, too. Yeah. You know, he didn't have no alternative motive when he said it. Uh, and everybody sees it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, Aaron said, yeah, he said, heck, I even see it now, you know, so. Yeah. And he said that, you know, um, and then Aaron said, you know, well, you know, I don't do things for, uh, to get reciprocate and it's called reciprocation. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. I know it's yeah. <laughs> in it. Um, so but I'm saying, bro, that's what anything. It should be a give and take in a relationship, in a marriage, in a friendship, in a partnership, in a business. Ship. It should be that you give and you also receive. You give and you also it get. depends what part of the world you're from too. Some people in, in relationships, you know, you know, reciprocity that's the word I was thinking. Okay, Sorry. yeah, okay. It's on, you know, some parts of the country, it's just like give, 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 or take, take, take. And the other person got to sit down and just give it, you know. So it depends. We ain't talking about any other part, we're talking about right here amongst us in the states, right here. And to me, that's what anybody like, I'm not gonna be giving out. That's why a lot of people just like, you know, they give, 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 and don't get nothing. And you think you're not supposed to get nothing in return? Uh, no, I'm you're sorry. supposed to. I learned that at a young You age. didn't push this. Now, when it comes to children, we give, we give, we give. And not even with them. Not even with them. <laughs> not even. That's the main one. What you mean? Uh, that's the problem. I give too much to these spoiled kids, and they come out, they grow up, be rotten and bad people. I didn't say that. No, I'm man. talking about give as far as but, you give it to your child. Like you how? Know, first of all, the child can't do. I it don't care. If you five years old, you can crap, and you can eat, and you can sleep. You can go out there and make some money. You can do something. I don't care what you got to do. Throw some papers. I don't know. Anyway, but the point is, to this. no. All I'm saying is. Sometimes people just give too much and you give you, you, you kind of basically your whole identity just gone because you gave so much, you know, and you spent and you got nothing in your tank because you're giving, giving, giving. I learned that at a young age and I'm not going to give. Like, I give what you give me. Okay. And some people don't believe, yeah, I'm supposed to. Yes, you do, child. When you done been the first, because I was always a giver, 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 yeah. giver. What you are, where are you now? I'm midways. There you go. You got to learn the hard way. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm midways. I don't give too much because I end up giving so much. And my husband is so I end up giving so much and child receives so little. So I'm like, bunk, that ain't finna happen All again. Right, because... I'm going to give. If, you know, you give. And then if people reciprocate even a small give, okay, maybe we can work here. You give some more. Okay, maybe you we can work here. You know what I'm saying? If I give you half, you got to give me half. Cause I give you half. I'm talking about a percentage. You you start out with a small percentage. I know, but see, I'm just saying who I am. If I'm giving you twenty percent, you give me twenty percent. I'm if talking I, about energy. I was saying the same uh, thing. But, here I, but some people give fifty percent and they receive ten percent. I'm not doing I that. I said that. Okay. Was you not listening? I'm listening. No, you're not. Yep. Don't tell me what I'm not doing. No, I'm I just told you you're not. I'm listening because you're not comprehending I'm what I'm comprehending saying. Comprehending, and you just ain't saying it right. That's all. I ain't telling me what I ain't saying. So, and I totally like you know agree with um. Eddie. Who is Eddie? Me. I mean, <laughs> agree with Chris. Does, yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, but Aaron's like you know that reciprocity. He don't always do things for rest. I was like, bro, you gonna have to learn, child, because folks gonna tap you and wear you out, child. You gonna end up being broke and lonely. So um, but Chris, I mean, but Aaron did say you know he just had a place of confusion. Like, just go on. If the girls were saying, basically, it ain't no spark, there ain't no chemistry, please just go on leave. Let, let's take these things, couples out one by one, see who be standing at the end. Because right now, the pastor and first lady is the only one. And Millie and Greg, they don't even know each other. So uh, Chris and, and Sandia child, you know, she just meek and mild like Celia from the color purple. And so uh, who else you got? Uh, Josh and... Uh... Oh, 
Ooh, I'm about to cuss. Um, let's see. Oh, who else you got? <laughs> they got uh 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 uh. So um, let's move on. So um, Shay is getting ready to go to the boom room room because they own it for now. Um, and so now first lady said, like, let's. I need to talk to the congregant. Yeah, so, at first I said, oh, come on, first lady. Why you got a bunny on your head? Come on. Yeah. You walking in a bunny on your hand on your hip. Oh, oh she's about to be messy. You see a black woman with her hands on her hip with a bunny on her head. She's about to be messy. Was it a bunny if she had that thing tied around that whole down? I thought it was I'm a bunny. tired of that. It was a bunny. So <clears throat> she up there want to talk to um Diamond and I mean First Lady Diamond. Ooh, that don't sound right, dude. First yeah, Lady yeah. Diamond. So yeah, First yeah. Lady Diamond want to talk to Shay and say, listen, you know, um, since Alexa's <laughs> been, you know, out and stuff, we talk, we communicate. And I'm assuming she mean like she still talk to her now afterwards. Mm -hmm. And she told me something that I want to tell you. And she told me that, you know, Josh, you know, um, tried to have or insinuate he wanted to have sex with her. And she was like, first of all, before you go any farther with that, I thought First Lady the Diamond said that Alexis wanted to talk to Shay. In my opinion, she should allow Shay to talk to Alexis. Oh, that's what she said. Yeah, and she could have stayed out of it. Uh, no, you know that's what for saying? sure. They could, she could have said, "Hey, Shay, Alexis want to talk to you. She got something to tell you." Yeah, First yeah. Lady have been clean. You I, know what I saying? agree. I agree. And then later she tells her, "I don't want to be in the mid. I don't want to be in that." That's a what? How you gonna do all this stir up all this confusion, child? And then you know, honey, you could have kept that to yourself yeah. and let them wish they way on off, and then after I wish the show had, was over, would say something. I wish she had that same energy when your sister out there calling the, uh, your man kids out names, and yeah, uh, your sister calls somebody nanny and taffies and stuff. Mm -hmm. You should kind of call your sister out, man. But you know, uh, um, but yeah. So <laughs> and Shay, Shay was like, what? So he wanted to have sex with her so past the first lady first lady said listen i know you're mad but don't say nothing don't go back and say nothing. how are you gonna tell somebody something like that and, and expect them not to say anything if you tell me i'm gonna be pissed i'm not gonna hold that in yeah, i know that's right how in the heck can you yeah, think like, that yeah, and you like, going to you the, the boom, boom room and y'all so y'all gonna have some boom boom no so man they boom -boom. so they have some boom boom that's what they call it the boom boom room so they're going to do the boom boom. So, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to say something, man. And this, the and so, anyway, so Shay went and, honey, she, hey, how you doing? Sit down. Listen, I had her. I was like, whoo, child, honey. She, listen, I'm the same way. You can't tell me nothing like that. Expect me to hide that that right there because I can't, my face can't hide it. My energy can't hide it. My body can't hide it. It's going to come out. So it's, it came out. And I understand. So um, Shay was just saying that, you know, um, Diamond, Alexis said, and I don't think she put Diamond name in it, but she said, Alexis said you tried to have sex with him. And he said... No, John said, no. It's something about <clears throat> the, him and Shay and Alexis sitting in the room and they're talking about a threesome. But that's 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 where this bedding stuff gets confusing and it's just too much i think that people should have had their own room or something because y'all how are they gonna force something like that <laughs> well a small budget they got how they gonna force under with all the rooms in? they came out your soul yeah hey, man because when you said that, i looked at you saw what the heck you how they go for something like that? Well, then shrink down the couples or something. Don't have that many people in there or something. So, uh, or have the couples in the room with two separate beds. Shoot, that'd be their choice whether they want to sleep together or not. So, but yeah, it was oh, yeah, just because be now it seemed like, and I don't know where he put the, pulled this story up out of his behind from, but he pulled up a story. What he said? I don't know what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He said, "No, no, that ain't happened. What happened was, what had happened was, is that we, when we was in the, and they showed the cameras when we was in the bed bedroom together. I guess it was Shay and I guess Alexis bed. And I don't mm -hmm. know if Josh was just coming there to talk. They were sitting all on the bed and stuff like that. And Alexis, I think Josh whispered in her ear, and she wanted to have a threesome." Mm -hmm. 
that's what he said. And he and um because when I guess one of I guess when Shay invited them in or something like that to the room to talk or something like that, she thought it was dope they were gonna have a threesome. And that's what happened. He was like, No, no, we don't get down like that. That ain't finna happen and stuff. She said, Well, it ain't no fun if the homies can't have none. I was like, that's the dude say. What are you talking about? I'm what woman gonna say that? Yeah, that's I don't know. That yeah. story sound real far fetched, and I guess he had to squirm. Or he had that on ready because he knew that girl was gonna go back and tell. And so he also, had to think about that story. Alexa's not there to kind of, uh, to kind of defend herself. Right. So it's just him and, and Shay, so he can get his side of the story without anybody trying to rebuke him on it. Yeah. Uh, but but what st struck me strange is that when Josh and Alexis got up and left, went through, it was like you know they left and get left the room because it's, Shay was asleep. Yeah. I'm saying okay, but it seemed like. Alexis was down for something. Yeah, really? they went somewhere. Yeah. But he said, Well, no, uh, we just went out in the hall to talk instead of trying to wake you up because we didn't want to talk and wake I you don't up. Oh, no, that don't seem like a get up and leave the room type of situation, not to wake somebody up. It's like he was, got up and left to do something, in my opinion. And Alexis, I mean, and Shay did say she did wake up and she noticed that they was gone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it was kind of weird. I was saying, was Josh sleeping in the room or unless he was sleeping with her? No, he probably smashed Alexis. He, he probably took Alexis to the boo room. Uh-uh. He said no cameras. So no cameras in the hall. Well, so that's can, why they said okay, they go in the he, hall. He probably smashed it in the hall then. That's when he did that standing six to nine. <laughs> he did what? Standing six to nine. I leave the hallway. That wasn't him that said that. I know that, but the young uh so yeah, that was the the story. So Shay was mad. She was mad. She was like, No, nah, I got trust issues. I said, rightfully so, because this man had a whole child on you and said it was the roommate. That's close. How close can you get if it's the roommate? If I can't trust you with the roommate, I definitely can't trust you with somebody random on the street, child. So, um, so she, she went in the bathroom, you know, he come past first lady, excuse me, first lady come in there. Ah, I, I, uh, I know you're mad. Just calm down. How you going to tell me to calm down? How you going to tell me to calm down? And I tell you that champagne bottle probably about gone. Cause Josh was like, mm, mm, mm. yeah, I just, and she left, she went and she was like, I can't do this. I'm finna call my mom. I'm finna go home. And um, she went crying and stuff like first that. First lady said, just sleep it out. Just sleep. Before you make a decision, go sleep and sleep on it. I said, first lady. How can you? First lady diamond. You can't tell somebody some information like this. And don't, and don't expect nothing like this to happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're going to be upset. Of course, now you're trying to calm her down. If that was the case, you should have just kept the information to yourself exactly. or let, allow her to talk to Alexis for herself. That's yeah. just my personal opinion. And she says, I don't want to be in the middle. Well, too late. <laughs> too late. So, yeah, she's trying to calm her down. She's in the bathroom and uh, and everything. So, anyway, she go back to the boom, boom room. But I don't know what's going to happen with them because, you know, at this point, you know, Shay says she already got trust issues and stuff like that. I think she should just end it. Cause you go first lady tell me y'all been together 12 years girl this ain't no marriage she was like don't give it up this man had a whole baby on her within them 12 years so now he and you know he like close people people that's close so he was with the roommate she was close and then alexis she was close so yeah he don't know how to go far out honey if he gonna get you gonna get you with your clothes so um so yeah so she said you know y'all been together 12 years don't give it up Oh, maybe bye. So yeah, they should be gone. Everybody should be gone. I guess it's just so toast sucker pasta and um polish mm -hmm. and uh first lady that's gonna be there, honey. But I don't know her daughter coming. I said, how many folks we gonna have come and visit these people? Anyway, y'all, let's add to the what I told you the views was ninety three thousand. I guess we could add to the nine four thousand people watching. I don't can't tell you, man. We need to do the other show, the one you. Deep down inside, you know you want to do, but you've been trying to fight it for a whole season. You, know, you, you think I'm finna do that? You that show, know, every time uh, the review is tanking in, uh, that uh, every time show. they show previews on that show, you it'd like, be like this. No, that'd be you. <laughs> I'd be catching the corner by. I say, you know you want to do it. Anyway, you know you ain't nobody finna do, do that show. You so you on that note, you guys, you say, ooh, she got the show hair too. Eddie, <laughs> Eddie will be reviewing Love and Marriage Huntsville. So, yeah, he back, y'all. Oh, he back, y'all. Watch his review. She got he, the shut house. Yeah, you, she got your hook now. So, yeah, Eddie going to be reviewing it. Ooh, with all the ratchetness over there, folk going to jail and everything. I was like, God, out of all the states, 
It had to be ours. It had to be ours. <sighs> anyway, on that note, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as we say at the end of every video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. Oh, for God first. Deuces. Hey.